so this is going to be a video a full guide on how to use MT5, which is the main platform that we trade Forex on. Uh, you can also trade crypto on this if you go with the firm Crypto Fund Trader, which I'll get into in a second. But 90% of the time, uh, MT5 is what we trade Forex on and also things like gold, uh, some stocks and some futures actually. So uh, I'll go over exactly how to use it, all the features, how to open an account and everything. So basically, first of all, uh, you're going to need to open an account. Now, you can either open an account with a Forex broker or you can do it with a prop firm. Um, so first of all, a Forex broker that I would recommend using is 8cap. Um, we actually do have a referral link for 8cap as well in the server and I'll just put it in the description as well. You'll just basically get uh, charged less fees, but you can make an account on 8cap. A personal account uh, you can put your own money in it with your card or you can also make a demo account uh, we do recommend always learning how to trade on demo accounts before you risk real money and you can make demo accounts with ACAP basically once you make an account whether it's a demo or a real account they will send you an email with login credentials and the same thing will go for if you go with a prop firm so if you go for a prop firm like the fivers like this you would just buy an account with them and then once you buy the account they're going to send you login credentials on mt5 we also do have a referral code for the fivers as well and we have a referral code for crypto fund traders as well so i'll put all these referral codes in the description uh so you guys if you do choose to get accounts with these firms or make an account with acap you can use the referral code but basically anytime you make an account with any of these websites you will get an email with login credentials it's going to give you a username and a password. So how you uh, open an account with that is you would come to this panel over here on MT5, you click accounts, you would click open an account, and then you would type in whatever the broker is. You would either type in ACAP, you would type in the Fivers, whatever it is. You find the company, then you would click connect with an existing trading account, and you type in the login and the password. And you make sure you're on the right server as well. Once you do all that, it will sign you into the account. And when you sign in, your chart is not going to look like this. It's not gonna look black and white like this. Um, if you want to change the appearance of your chart, which most likely you will, you just right click anywhere on the chart, press properties, and then you're going to, you can customize all the colors. So I like doing black and white, but you can customize this however you want. Just make sure you change the bar up, bar down, bull candle, bear candle. Um, that will change the candles and you can change the background as well. I would also recommend clicking show grid, turn that off, and then also click show ask price and bid price on. So what the ask price and bid price is, is it's the spread line, which is basically this second line here. And I'll go over what spread is in a second. But first, what we're gonna pay attention to is this panel up here. Whenever you sign into whatever account you opened with, it will show your available uh, things to trade over here. So. What you're gonna to wanna to look for is if you're trading Forex, obviously you have your Forex pairs here. I don't know what all this stuff is. This is just an ACAP demo account, but most of the time you're just gonna be trading Forex. Or if you have an account with Crypto Fund Trader, you're gonna see a bunch of crypto coins on the side here too. But basically, whatever you wanna trade, you just click it and you drag it out like this, right? You can change whatever you're looking at. You can also have these tabs open at the bottom. So if I wanna have a few things open, I could have this open. I could have like a couple things open at once like this, right? Um, and then you can swap between them. But basically, if you want to enter a trade, you just right click on the screen here, trading, new order. On this screen is where you're going to input the information for the trade. So if you want to market enter, which market entering is just entering at the current market price, it's automatically by default, it comes on market enter. And all you have to do is put in the volume, volume you want to enter with, which is the lot size or the position size. And then you can put in your stop loss and take profit. Now to calculate, the position size or lot size for forex you're going to want to go to this um, calculator which i will link also in the server and in the description and basically how to use this is if you you type in your account balance let's say it's ten thousand let's say you want to risk two two percent per trade and then you click what pair you're trading so let's say i'm trading for example euro jpy you just go find euro jpy it's going to ask you what the current uj price is I think right now it's 160. You would type in your stop loss size in pips. So what that means is you would go to, if I'm on EJ right here, let's say I wanted to enter a trade, let's say a buy stop order. So what a buy stop order is, 
I went over this all this in the crypto how to trade on a crypto exchange video, but I'll go over it again here. Um, a buy stop order is if you want to get entered into the market when price comes up into an entry. So it, pr the entry has to be above the current price. So if I wanted to place a buy stop order right here, this is what I would be paying attention to. It's just this number right here. This is for Forex. I'll show you quickly how to do it with crypto in case uh, you're trading with the crypto firm. But for Forex, when you place your order, whether it's a market order, buy stop order, or a limit order, all you do is you set your order with the stop loss and the entry, and you look at the size and pips, which is this. This is the size and pips. So right now this stop loss is 23 pips big, and that's what you would put in the calculator. So then this is going to tell you here the lots that you need to enter with, the lot size. So this is telling me I need to enter with 1.39 lots based on the amount of money I want to risk. So that's what you would type in here, 1.3, right? And you can put your stop loss, obviously, just look at the stop loss on the chart, 170.875. I would type that in here. And this is for a market order, but if you're doing a buy stop order or buy limits, whatever kind of pending order you want to do, the way that I trade is buy stop orders. All my entries uh, in that the server should know about are buy stop orders. So you would just type the entry price, the stop loss price, and obviously the lot size, which we that's the thing that we calculated, 1.39. And then you would just type your entry price and stop loss price. So 171.105, right? And 170.875. And then you would place your buy stop order like this, right? So once you have, this is a pending order. When a buy stop order is a pending order, so we will get entered into this if price comes up and taps this line. I don't know if it's actually going to do that right now, but you can modify things even when it's pending. You just double click it. You can change the take profit. It actually looks like we might get entered into this here. You can also just adjust where you want to get entered. So you can adjust your order here like this. I'm going to try to like get entered here just to show you guys this so this is also a spread work so you see how I, how I just got entered into the trade but the actual price is here the spread line is where you will actually get entered so in this case there's about half a pip to one pip of spread here which means that I will get entered if the spread line touches my entry not the actual price and this there's no way to escape spread every broker has spread but you can choose brokers that have less spread than others. Also, certain Forex pairs will have more spread than others. That's just how trading works. So just always make sure that you're accounting for spread when you're placing an entry. Like, for example, if on trading view the entry is at 171.395 here, I'm going to put my actual entry line a bit higher because I know that spread is going to tap me in early and I don't want to get entered in the trade unless the actual price touches it, not the spread line. So just pay attention to how much spread there is and adjust your entry accordingly. Now that I'm in a trade here, right? You can see the live profit here. This is just a demo account once again, but uh, obviously if price comes and taps the stop loss, I will exit the trade. And then you can also place take profits by just taking this and dragging it, or you can manually type it in to the take profit thing right there. You can also exit the trade by just clicking this X, right? So it's pretty easy to use this platform. It just doesn't look very user friendly right when you get it, but you can also change your different accounts here. So I can switch from my ACAP account to my five fibers account or my crypto fund trader account over here. It shows your balance here. Um, you can also look at your trade history. So all the history of trades right there. And yeah. So also if you are trading on crypto fund trader um, and you're obviously entering trades on coins over here, um, you're not going to use this calculator. Obviously this, this is a Forex calculator, but what you are going to use is this calculator, which I've already linked uh, in the other video, and it's also in the server as well. But basically for this one, you just type in, I'll quickly go over it, you just type in your account balance, the amount you want to risk. Uh, this is for crypto only. So let's just say I want to enter something at $45, stop loss 44. This is going to tell you the position size in crypto here, which is 197. And this is what you would type into the volume box on MT5. So some people got confused about that. If you're trading crypto, use this calculator. I'll put this one in the, in the description too. And then put the volume, position size crypto into the volume box on MT5. So that's how you do that. Oh, and also there is one more calculator. I use this one specifically for if I'm entering on commodities like gold or silver, 
or the NAS 100 or US oil or anything like that. Occasionally I will take trades on those things and I use this calculator to enter on those things. And the way that you would use this one is obviously you have an open price, stop loss price, account balance, risk, and then you just need to put in the, it will ask you if you want to figure out the lots, it will ask you the contract size. So if here I'm trading silver, I would just go down to silver, uh, which is right here, right? And you would click specification and then it'll bring up this thing and you look at the contract size here. So the contract size is 5,000 for silver on here. So I would change this to 5,000 and then it will tell me how many lots I need to enter with for silver. So I do this for like silver, gold, NAS 100, US oil. That's basically it. But I will link this calculator as well in the description. And yeah. Um, one other thing is if you want to change the time frame of your charts, you can click charts, time frames, and then click the time frame. So this will bring us to the 15 minute. If you want to zoom out of the chart, you can press this minus sign here or the plus sign, whatever. And you guys can just play around with all the stuff up here. I don't really use any of it. I don't use any indicators on here or anything. I do all my analysis on trading view. I just use this to actually enter the trade, but that's basically everything you need to know about MT5. If you have any more questions, you can ask them in the Discord. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video.